So there's an flow of CO2 coming through and uh, runs out of oxygen. Greta will stimulate the sleeping spider with electricity in order to coax venom from its glands. We clamp it with a little bit of salt water on a sponge to improve conductance of the electricity. Sounds kind of medieval. Okay, right now I'm rinsing her fangs. So sometimes they have little bits of things like bark bits. And we want a pure venom sample. And this is a special made vomit vacuum in my left hand. I'll capture the venom in this glass capillary and got the vomit vacuum on the spider's mouth and I'm stepping on the foot pedal now. And you'll see about 12 volts of electricity are going through the spider and that causes all the muscles to contract, including the venom gland. There it goes. Look at all that venom. <laughs> Excellent. There you go. Thank you, spider. She'll wake up in five minutes and be just fine. Somewhere in this tiny amount of venom, with its hundreds of toxins, is the one that causes human skin to self-destruct. With the venom she's collected, Greta hopes to help generate an anti-venom that will work against every type of brown spider in the world. Got it. Preventing thousands of painful, disfiguring bites that happen every year. Thank you.